Hi guys, this is MA from DevHelp. Welcome to my third Java Swing tutorial. This story is going to be a small one, a small video as we're just going to talk about how to make our frame uh, our frame uh, appears at the center of the screen. Whatever the screen size was, we're going to use the set location method, but we're not going to right here stable numbers we're gonna use flexible numbers so we're gonna use two objects from the AWT package as you see I already imported here import java.awt dot star star means we import all the subclasses of the AWT package so we're gonna use two two objects the first one is toolkit so we're going to declare a variable here private toolkit so we're going to use toolkit and we're going to name it t for example the second object is private dimension so we need these two objects just to to get the dimension of the screen so we dimension I'm gonna name it S for instance so we have a toolkit and a dimension and I'm gonna show you guys how to use them in order to get the screen size or the dimension of the screen so first of all we're gonna use the toolkit object we're gonna, we're gonna write T equals to and we're gonna call a method called get toolkit that method returns a toolkit object after that we're gonna use the s which means the dimension object s equals to that t that toolkit object dot and we're gonna call a method called get screen size this method gets a dimension object this dimension is the size of the screen after this we're gonna just do some small calculation uh, guys I'm not I'm not recording all my screen my screen is larger than this but we're gonna just imagine that this is just our screen so we need to place the window here on the frame at the center of this so we have the width and the height of this of the screen and also we have the head and the width the height and the width of the frame itself so we begin with the x which means we need to place where we need to place the window from just the x we're talking just about the x so we need to place it here so we're gonna calculate this distance this distance this distance equals to the width divided by 2 which means from here minus the the width of the frame divided by 2 so it gets here and also the same thing for the y or the height of the f of the screen so we're going to begin with the the width so we're going to use the s star width which mean, which mean we talk about the x so the width divided by 2 actually minus get width which means to get the width of the frame itself also divided by 2 and we gotta do the same thing for the x uh, for the y sorry the y we mean the head so the height s dot height divided by 2 minus get height and also divided by 2 so now with this we show that we make our frame 
it's gonna appear at the center of the screen so as I said I'm not recording all my screen this is just a part of it so the the frames are gonna appear I guess here so we're gonna test it so as I said the window appears here see so I left I'm gonna left you guys to test it so whatever was the screen the dimension of the screen the window is gonna appear at the center of the screen so that's all guys that's all for this tutorial as I said it's just a small one and just we talked about how to center the frame to make it appear at the center of the screen our next tutorial is going to be about the panels another container called J panel and also we're going to talk about layout managers we're not going to talk about it we're not going to talk about all the layout manager but I'm going to so I'm going to introduce to you some of them so guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next tutorial